In the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos, I'm Peter Loshak, and we are talking right now with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, who's had a great season with us uh, covering both college and the NFL, giving us great analysis and, more importantly, winning picks uh, all year long. Troy, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Pete. We went 2-1 again last week as Washington comes away with a tight ball game and covers the five, and then the Baltimore Ravens, as yeah, I that said, was they really destroyed impressive. the yeah. New York Giants. I know there's a lot of controversy on that one. I was looking at some of the comments. Yes. People thought I was crazy rolling with Baltimore, yeah. so I'm, I'm quite proud of that pick, and then we slipped up with Tampa Bay. They didn't show up to play, but another 2 and one weekend. If you're betting a fair amount of cash, you're making money with us. So. Very impressive. Yeah, you took a lot of heat. A lot of people were saying that the Giants, 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 you know, and, uh, you know, Unbelievable. Great pick. What can I say? Nothing more to say. All right, let's take Next a look button. at Jacksonville at Tennessee. And um, Tennessee is a four-point uh, home favorite. And actually, you know, this is one of those games, you know, both these teams are obviously way, way, way out of the playoffs. Uh, but as I was researching this, I'm thinking this might be one of those Week 17 games where there might be an edge, and I'll tell you why. Of course, Tennessee got absolutely blown out, embarrassed uh, uh, last week, and that has happened numerous times this year. But every time it's happened, they get so embarrassed, you know, they're like, we have to do better, this is not acceptable. And then they have come back the next week and gotten a good win and cover, and now they're going up against Jacksonville, who played, uh, you know, New England tight last week, very impressive. That was kind of like their finale for the season. Now they've got a bunch of guys injured, they're shutting a bunch of guys down and I'm thinking maybe Tennessee minus four actually has some decent value. I love Tennessee in this ball game. Really? Pete. I, I think like you said Jacksonville kind of their last hurrah of the season played New England tough and still wasn't able to come away with the win. They're done. They're looking forward to that possible first pick. I think if they were to come out and win this game and Kansas City loses I think that'd be stupidity on the Jacksonville sideline. So I don't see Jacksonville the way they played against New England coming out and doing it again at Tennessee. You know, Jake Locker is one of those quarterbacks that's got a lot of pride. I know they got blown out last weekend, but I expect them to come home in week 17. Expect Chris Johnson to get let loose a little bit. Think like they're going to let Jake Locker run the ball a little bit more than he has during the season. I like Tennessee to win this game pretty handily. I just don't think Jacksonville is going to be up and ready to play in this one. Yeah, I think you're right. And I mean, I, I understand people are going to say, but Tennessee sucks ass. And that's completely true. But this has happened before this year. So they have proven that whatever they've got on the field right now, they are capable of bouncing back after an embarrassing loss. They yeah, have. I just, I really think there's something to be said for that number one pick. I'm not saying teams go out there and can the game. Right. But Jacksonville, I think Jacksonville kind of went out. They gave it their all against New England, had them for three quarters. It's just, it's just too tough for them to go back on yeah. the road, get on an airplane after the holiday season and play a meaningless game in Tennessee. Where I think Tennessee, they still have the rookie quarterback. Locker's trying to get comfortable with that team. They're trying to work some things out. I still think Tennessee's going to be the one that gives more effort, and I think they're a better team anyway. So I think four points is too low. Tennessee wins this ball game by at least a touchdown. I think that's true. I think this might be one of the situations, one of those Week 17 situations that has like a unique handicapping uh, situation that the books can't possibly, that the market can't possibly factor in, and you can get great value on a side, one of these Week 17 